Okay, at the back. As we're in the room, look towards uh, John Cross and the mail. Quite dramatic, you know that? I really enjoyed, especially the end. Uh, this is the incredible thing about football: emotions and and the moments that you live together with with a lot of people. And uh, it was a special night. Credit to to Luton for the incredible atmosphere that they created, uh, the way they played, the way they were coached. Uh, they made life really difficult for us, but uh, we find a way to win. And um, the resilience and the character and the quality of the team showed, and how much we won it. It was great. What, what does that say about your team? And then also, what does it do for team spirit? Because you, you, know, you also felt behind. Yeah, twice. Twice. And playing every three days, you know, and, and you have to win every game and every game and every game. And the demands are there. And uh, it's the way they go about it, how much they want it. Uh, we have a talk at half time, the things that we have to do better. And they are so willing. Sometimes it works better than others. Today we consider some goals that we're going to be disappointed with but that's part of it as well it's going to happen and, and how we react to that and it was great so right before the time of season you scored a winning goal in the last sort of two or three minutes what, what does that sort of say about the fuse of this team to accept the draw we don't want to draw we want to win and uh, and that drive that energy that risk and that uh, Emotion that we put uh, in the pitch, I think you can sense it. I think we should have scored before with the chances that we had. We didn't, but we tried right till the end and we got rewarded. Does it worry you that games go so late? Are you, do you just see it from the positive side in terms of what it does for psychology? And, and no, because we didn't really consider again nothing. You know, it was the, the two set plays and the goal that they scored. Apart from that, it was it was nothing else. But uh, they were really efficient in, in the boxes today, and uh, that's credit to to the opponent as well, and uh, you have to accept that. Yes, sir? Your team obviously showed great fortitude to win it out at the end and stay in there for the whole game. What were your thoughts on that right performance? There was two potential errors on his part, the, the two the goals. What were we have to defend better the situations as a team. There are th certain things leading to, um, to the goals, and, and it's not about blaming. We haven't never done it, and we're not going to do it now. It's about how the team reacts to that, because it's going to happen. And uh, I love that response. So you don't think that fault for two goals in the second half? I think we can defend much better the, the goals, that's for sure. Kaya? I just want to ask one about uh, Gabriel Jesus. He's a commander a bit of stick in the recent games. Uh, they've got the goal tonight. There's a lot of physicality for the recent defenders, but even for a guy who's maybe not as physically tall as the Luton guys, he still seems to be able to put himself back and deal with that. Yeah, he looked really lively today. He looked uh, really at it. He caused them a lot of problems. He was really mobile. He was a constant threat, scored a good goal. He was involved in many positive actions for the team as well. So I think we're getting the best out of him and uh, he's in a good in a good place. And that link up with Kai for the equaliser at 3-3, that's something we saw against uh, Lawrence. Is that a plan that you sort of worked on? Uh, they have different qualities that they complement each other really well. I thought Kai again played his best game. Uh, and it's getting better and better, and uh, that's what we need. That players start to raise the level and and get in in a good moment because we're gonna need players because we are losing a lot of players at the moment. Sam, yeah, when, when you spend that much money on Declan Rice, did you do it thinking he scored two winners in the space of 40 games? Yeah, three. So it's one more to go. So uh, it will happen. I don't know when, but uh, it will happen. You got. Uh, an incredible game again. The, the leadership, the quality that he's showing every week, every game, it's, uh, it's getting better and better. And then he has this capacity when he goes in the opponent's box, he's got that smell and that ability to put the ball in the back of the net. Okay, that was the last couple now, gentlemen. Yeah, it's, uh, it's great to see that uh, Kai Harbert is going into it. He's better and better. And maybe less than today. Uh, but my question is something, uh, uh, something else. Bit silly, but why don't the goalkeeper dress up so we don't need to freeze through the 90 minutes? Freeze, freeze, freezing, cold. Ah, I don't know. He was freezing today. I saw it. it was yeah, very cold. Ask him afterwards. Okay. okay, I will ask. I will take a note and uh, and, and make sure that uh, that's not the case. But is is a good question? Yeah, we have a scan and uh, it's not good news. Uh, he's got an injury in his calf and uh, and he's going to be out uh, for a while, I think, yeah. Okay, everyone, I think that's it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.